as in many instances in life and so with finasteride sometimes you have to take a step back to leap forward a strategic pause in finasteride therapy might be the key the only key to sustain success and i have covered this topic of taking breaks going on finasteride holiday several times a link to which is above this is also the switch off switch on technique or what scientifically you may describe as strategic treatment interruption hair today gone tomorrow aptly describes the plight of many people who suffer from hair loss mostly androgenic alopecia in the quest for a head full of hair finasteride has emerged as the beacon of hope the only drug which is fda approved for hair loss which has withstood the test of time and having been used for over 30 years now the safety profile of this drug is very well known so taking finasteride for your hair loss is a validated scientific approach to treating male pattern baldness Finasteride as we all know is a 5 alpha reductase inhibitor which curtails the effect curtails the conversion of testosterone into DHT its active metabolite which causes a deleterious effect on the hair follicle which is sensitive to DHT because of the proclivity or what androgenic alopecia has ordained it to clinical studies have confirmed its role in halting hair loss progression and promoting regrowth of hair in a significant number of patients and we have 30 years of experience to prove that But while finasteride is a powerful ally in combating hair loss it is essential to remember that even too much of honey will at some point of time start to get bitter so periodic breaks of this drug going on short drug holidays may be the breath of fresh air that your follicles are longing for implementing a structured 2 week hiatus from oral finasteride after having achieved desired therapeutic outcomes whether after 6 months of treatment for your hair loss or 6 months after having got your hair transplant done whatever the indication for which you are taking finasteride this break can be scientifically justified based on the pharmacokinetics and the pharmacodynamics of finasteride and this approach addresses two primary concerns number 1 mitigation of drug accumulation in the body and the associated adverse side effects finasteride possesses a plasma half life of 5 to 6 hours which is very little so many patients think that within 5 to 6 hours the effect of the drug is no longer there which is so untrue though the plasma half life is so short but the suppression of 5 alpha reductase that finasteride causes is sustained and lasts for a long period of time and that is the primary reason that we take a break of finasteride before planning a pregnancy chronic administration of finasteride results in drug accumulation in the tissues and may potentially exacerbate side effects in those who are prone side effects such as sexual dysfunction side effects such as brain fog and disturbances in other systemic effects in my over 20 years of experience treating hair loss i have yet to see a patient who has diligently followed my protocol and who suffers from side effects so how do you prevent this pharmacodynamic tolerance of finasteride through receptor modulation continuous suppression of dht leads to compensatory upregulation of androgen receptors androgen receptors in your hair follicles and this potentially diminishes the effectiveness of this drug over time so this intermittent dosing strategy introduces a planned drug holiday which may prevent receptor desensitization maintaining the therapeutic responsiveness of hair follicles to dht suppression now how does one go about it initiate the 2 week break after achieving stable hair growth and this will happen over 6 months if you're taking the drug for hair loss and 6 months after hair transplant you can go off this drug for about 2 weeks and this ensures that the hair follicles have adequately responded to the drug treatment and then regular assessment of hair density of hair quality during and after this drug holiday can help determine the optimal frequency and duration of subsequent treatment cycles this approach may be particularly beneficial for patients experiencing side effects or those at risk of developing tolerance However individual responses should guide therapy adjustment so strike the right chord harmonize the treatment with drug tolerance to sum it all up finasteride remains the cornerstone the keystone rather of treatment of male pattern baldness androgenic alopecia incorporating a structured treatment interruption or switch off switch on technique may optimize outcomes and minimize side effects in the symphony of hair restoration finasteride plays a leading role but sometimes a well timed rest note ensures that the melody continues harmoniously introducing in your protocol intermittent finasteride dosing schedules may optimize therapeutic outcomes by balancing efficacy with safety because too much of a good thing can also be bad so thank you for watching again if you have any questions let me know leave a comment in the comment section below but if you have a personalized question to ask do join the membership of this channel and i'll 
advise you accordingly unless you need a consultation in person. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Your encouragement keeps this channel going. Have a nice day and God bless you.